your first alert forecast with meteorologist Laura Hartman, only on Fox 47 News at 10. There are a lot of fun events going around the area this weekend, and I know a lot of them, like the Taste of East Lansing, they're really hoping for some nice weather. Laura, yeah. help us out. Pull through. <laughs> Great weather ahead. Uh, it is going to be a little chilly this weekend and into next week as well. So we're talking 50s, not 60s or 70s like last weekend, but it'll still be very nice. We have a lot of sunshine coming our way. So here's a look at some currents outside. Let's start off with the highs from today because these made it, woo, officially to 60 degrees in Lansing. 61 one in Ionia and 60 in Ithaca, 59 in Jackson. It didn't really feel warm though until those last couple of hours before the sun just set because we had so many clouds during the daytime. It was very hard to get up anywhere near that 60 degree mark until the sun came out. Now we're getting back into the 40s and falling into the upper 30s for our lows tonight and that's because we have a lot of clear skies and our winds also going calm as well which means we're going to cool down very quickly. When we start off tomorrow looks like we'll be starting off with a lot of sunshine not too many clouds, but even with all the sunshine that we have, it's going to be very hard to warm up into much more than the mid 50s. So that's about where we're going to be for not only Saturday, but Sunday as well. Although it does look like a very nice sunny weekend for both days. Now, rainy week ahead. Let's talk about this. We have a low pressure setting up and it's really just going to park itself over us um, starting on Monday and then concluding on about Friday. So we're going to have a lot of rain showers coming our way. I do want to show you the temperatures because of this low pressure system that's coming in. It's going to be really hard for us to heat up. Seeing that both Saturday and Sunday, mid 50s, same thing for next week. It really doesn't change that much. So each day will feel about the same, but I can tell you next week it's going to feel just a little cooler because we won't have as much sunshine to enjoy. Now, future track shows this low pre or this cold front, excuse me, coming on through. That's going to drag in some of those cooler temperatures, keeping our winds out of the northwest for tomorrow, and thus it'll be pretty hard for us to heat up, even though we do have the sun. We're going to see a dry day, a few more clouds in the afternoon and evening hours than in the morning, but nonetheless, a great one. Now, once we get to Sunday, a few more clouds coming in with this next system, and we could could even see a sprinkle or two into the evening hours. Watch this system trying to come in, but really falling apart as it continues to push this way. So we could see one. Looks like it'll be a mostly dry day for just about everybody. And once we get to Monday, we do start to change things up and we have more chances for showers, especially in the afternoon. Here's a look at tonight. 38 degrees and those clouds are clearing and we're going to see a cold start to tomorrow as well. 55 degrees, so not quite as warm as today. It'll still be nice outside and you can enjoy it out there and I encourage that you do because when you see this seven day forecast I have to say getting past the weekend it's going to be a hard week to get ahead. Look at this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday each day we have chances for showers in there and that's that stubborn low pressure we talked about. It's really just going to sit here and it's going to take a lot to get it moving out. So be prepared for showers just about every day next week. Even some thunderstorms possible on Tuesday, possibly even one on Wednesday as well. So, Sarah, are you looking forward to all the rain showers that we have coming up? Or maybe you like the weekend weather a little better. You always focus on the worst parts. Who wants five days of rain? Of course, I will take the dry weekend weather, definitely. Of course. Well, even glancing out to next weekend, mm -hmm. it does look like that rain might be sticking around for Saturday. Some models have it kicking out earlier. So, fingers crossed that hopefully we get sunshine back eventually but we could certainly use the rain as well. Yeah, so this weekend, you really need to take advantage of yeah. what we have because it'll be a long time before we see the sun again. All right, Laura, thank you. Mm -hmm. Stephanie from West Lansing is going to kick off tonight's I Contribute segment for us. She submitted this family selfie of the Mayhew, Gonzalez, and Springer bunch. What a great looking family. <laughs> Next, we have Lily the Beagle. Sarah Spittler of Lansing says Lily just <laughs> batted a tiger, won, and then collapsed in exhaustion on her duck. Looks like tough work. It sure does. She deserves a rest after that. <laughs> and rounding out the pack for us tonight is the cutest little fur baby you ever did see. This is Molly May, <laughs> just eight weeks old. She is the pride and joy of Scott McGillis and Rachel Carter, who say she is just full of love and kisses. I she is adorable. I love her jacket. I, I love her name. <laughs> if you have a picture you want to send in, we'd love to see it. You can email it to us at iContribute at fox47news.com or use the hashtag IC47. I'm always a sucker for those dog pictures. All right, we've got your top national and international headlines coming up after the break. You're watching Fox 47 News at 10.